In the labyrinthine depths of the Undercity, there is a name that sends a shiver down the spine of anyone daring to speak it. That name is Singed. Singed's story began in the bustling city of Piltover. As a child, he harbored an extraordinary mind. Singed possessed a prodigious intellect and an insatiable curiosity that drew him to the mysteries of the natural world. The principles and intricacies of the world around him held an irresistible allure, eventually guiding him to seek scholarship at the renowned University of Piltover. It didn't take long for Singh's brilliance to be celebrated. His research in the natural sciences was nothing short of groundbreaking. However, Piltover's attention had already been captivated by the discovery of Hextech, a blend of magic and technology that promised boundless opportunities for Piltovians. Singed found himself on the fringes among his peers, an outsider in a city enchanted by the allure of magic. To him, magic was but a crutch, relied upon by those either incapable of grasping the intricacies of the natural world, or simply too apathetic to try. He became an outspoken critic of what he deemed a new and ignorant fad within the academy. Undeterred, Singed turned his attention to the untapped potential of alchemy. Despite the value his intellect brought to the field, he earned little more than mockery from his peers. His funding eventually dwindled and his status continued to erode. He was cast out of the university and exiled from Piltover. With no other recourse, Singed began anew in the grimy depths of Zaun. In the underbelly of Zaun, life was cheap and innovation was in high demand. Singed swiftly found employment in the burgeoning chemtech industries, offering his expertise and relentless determination to increasingly unsavory clients. His experiments, often ethically questionable, ranged from enhancing humans and animals to creating grotesque hybrids of the two. He propelled his newfound field forward at a shocking pace, often at the expense of his own well-being, not to mention the subjects of his experimentation. With an unmatched understanding of the body's chemical needs, Singed concocted stimulants that allowed him to work tirelessly for weeks before collapsing into feeble slumber that stretched for days on end. Singed's relenting efforts as an alchemist attracted a steady stream of patrons and clients, including the warlords of Noxus. Rumors spread through Piltover and Zahn that the Empire and its Grand General teetered on the brink of financial ruin due to the exorbitant tithes paid to Piltover for military access to campaigns in northern Shurima. However, as long as they paid his fees, Singed cared little for their political troubles. After years of various commissioned projects, Singed was approached by a Noxian military commander named Emistan, who sought his expertise to break the bitter stalemate in the war against Ionia. She required a new type of weapon, one that defied imagination and could make him wealthy beyond measure. Setting aside all other concerns, Singed dedicated his expertise and energies to crafting this weapon. The result was an alchemical fire of unprecedented power and terrifying volatility. When unleashed against Noxus enemies in Ionia, it burned with an intensity that could shatter stone and poisoned the earth with malevolent metallic toxins that rendered it barren. Even Emistan's own allies were horrified, though they chose not to brand her and Singed as war criminals. Unfettered by limitations of capital, materials, or even ethical boundaries, Singed felt the weight of time pressing upon him. His work following Ionia's commission had taken a dramatic biological turn, venturing into territory unknown even to him. 
an experiment merging animal, man, and machine left his laboratories in ruins, his face hidden beneath grimy bandages, and his creation prowling the streets of Zaun. Yet, Singed's relentless pursuit to expand the boundaries of alchemy never wavered. Over time, Singed's appearances within Zaun grew increasingly scarce, leaving the denizens of the Undercity in the dark ruminating about the deranged mind's whereabouts. Many speculate that after he had mastered the art of destruction, his deepening fixation on preservation and transformation research continued to take root. There are even rumors that he is pursuing research aimed at transcending the inescapable fate of life itself boldly pushing the boundaries of science into uncharted territories where few dare to tread. What is certain is that the mad chemist still resides in the depths of Zaun, and those unfortunate enough to have crossed his path and share the tale have certainly paid a steep price.